Welcome to St. Pete Fishing Outfitters. Come on inside. So we're getting fired up for the 2018 fishing season. We got record high temperatures here in February in St. Pete and the fishing is going off. The flats are really fired up. The snook and reds are biting. The, the bottom fish are really fired up. They're catching a lot of snapper and sheep's head. So let's run to the store and uh, look at a few changes and show you some of the gear that I'm going to be stocking up on for this season. Come on, check it out. Tons of rods. Big fan of St. Croix rods. You got O'Hara. Like that, I got a couple of O'Hara's. You got all your hooks over here on the left on this aisle right here. Plenty of cool hats. Pretty much any fishing rod really you could think of is what you need. I mean, they've got it all. Of course, your big snuff jigs. All the jigs you could possibly need. And down on here, you got your cast net aisle. Any type of cast net you could want. Of course, everyone loves throwing that 12 foot, 3 8 inch net. Gets the white bait out of the skyway. It's a, it's a bait killer. Come on back here with me. Got some braided lines back here. Multiple different brands. O'Hara brand, that's the store brand. Spider wire, Power Pro, Suffix. Bunch of good stuff. Back in here in the middle, you got all kinds of different lures to choose from. Rapala, Yozuri, uh, you know, Hedden, Bomber, definitely. Oh, some of my favorite patterns here. Rapala X Wraps, Fish Catcher Machines. And then over here, you got a lot of soft plastics. Zoom's probably one of the most popular soft plastic lures ever for bass. Uh, they also make some other stuff you can use in salt water. Just a huge variety of stuff. I mean, if you want to come to one store and pick up everything you need for fishing, you come to this store. It's the largest, it's the nicest tackle store in this side of town. It's really awesome. Well, look what we have here. Look at this. Look at this. Now, this is something I haven't seen. This is a Okuma. Komodo SS, but this is a lot like what we were talking about last year. Big bait casting rods and reels for catching big snook and redfish around bridges and stuff like that. That's a mighty rod there for turning a big 35, 40 plus inch snook, throwing those first light jigs over there. If you look above, there's a great big bait pan up here, and you can hold bait for days so everybody that's loading up for king of the beach that's coming that's the bait pen for you even more rods over here and you got some combos i'm a big fan of these pen spin fisher combos these are high quality combos that last for years and years i've gotten a lot of use out of this reel this is a workhorse reel it's smooth strong drags i like them a lot moving on up here you got even more soft plastics over here we have a lot of your very popular saltwater plastic lures. These Slayer inks and this pattern right here. This is one of my favorite. Catches trout, redfish, snook. You'll catch Spanish on them. But that pattern right there is killer. I love that pattern. And then down below, you got all kinds of different lead weights you use. I use a lot of these one ounce weights and these half ounce weights. I use a lot of these. Of course, uh, Berkeley Gulp. You can't go wrong with Berkeley Gulp. Fish love them. The smell uh, disperses in the water. It really gets the fish coming in. You got uh, bulk packages of Ber uh, Berkeley Gulp there. Sabeel. These things are awesome. The swimming action on these is incredible. Absolutely incredible. You can cast them, you can troll them, whatever you want to do. There's some Sabeel hard baits. And over here, the ever popular Z Man series. These are really popular lures for inshore fishermen. And last but not least, for sure, you've got fishing apparel that actually works to protect you from the sun and keep you cool. So this Gills shirt right here is working while you're wearing it. Really, really awesome stuff. 
go over to the fly room real quick, and on the way we'll stop by the real case. Over here. You've got a huge selection of different reels. Everything from Avet to Accurate. Really nice stuff. Got some Daiwa reels in here. And you got Big Game down here. If you're new to the area, this is a good place to start. These top spot maps will show you a lot of different fishing areas, a lot of the public reefs that were, reef numbers that are out there. You can get one of these maps and it gives you a really good starting point and it teaches you a little bit about the area. Some more bait cast reels, some more of those large size bait casters right there we use to throw big jigs, and of course various other sizes of bait cast reels. Moving here to the fly room. Lots of really high quality, purpose-built equipment uh, and apparel for your fly fishing needs. And of course you can wear this stuff, you know, whatever type of fishing you're doing. But this Sims gear right here is really, really well built and performs in all kinds of harsh conditions. I really like that stuff. Uh, some nice jackets. This jacket might come in handy. We get another cold blast coming down soon. Right now it's extra warm, but uh, spring is not officially here yet. So something like this might be useful to have in the boat just in case we get that cold blast to come down just before spring actually arrives. Uh, nice selection of Sims flops here. Really nice. A lot of people wear these year round. Even more protection here. Nice looking quality apparel. Lightweight moisture wicking fabrics. Good stuff there. I need to start wearing more long sleeve uh, pants. I'm always in the sun and I get chalky legs, man. I'm out there all the time. I need to start wearing more Sims pants. Um, anyways, moving on, moving into the fly gear, fly reels right here in this cabinet. You got fly lines. And then you have some leaders. I think they're called tippets if you're actually a fly fisherman. I'm not actually a fly fisherman, but uh, it's something I want to experiment with. Um, Lots of pre-made flies right here, a lot of popular patterns. Uh, we actually made a video last year that uh, showed a couple of patterns that you must have if you want to catch a lot of different types of fish in different situations. Um, then you move over here, you got some more flies making materials. You got hooks, feathers, you got artificial fibers, all kinds of colors. Many of them are reflective and flashy. Can have a lot of fun and then on Wednesdays we have the fly tying group that comes in here and everyone gets together and really lets their creativity out and they make all kinds of different flies and it's pretty surprising what people will come up with and uh, you can imagine how happy you would be if you just designed your own fly and all of a sudden you're just catching a ton of fish on it that would be pretty awesome so definitely something to get in on if you're in the area but that does it for our quick little tour of the store. I'm glad you came by the channel today. Thanks for checking out the video. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. And if you got a question, email me at headfirstfishing at gmail.com.